cool ice cue. And we have done it! Number 10. All right, so here's the pack. Just so you can see the back of the pack. The pack art is, and the colors on this specific set, EX Fire Red Leaf Green, obviously in conjunction with the Game Boy games, uh, are absolutely, it's a beautiful set. Lots of incredible cards. I've actually showcased a whole master set of this set here on the channel to get more cards graded, which I will be. Later on this weekend or next week, there'll be another grading video. So I believe, yeah, this set only has nine additional cards. So should be just two, no gold stars to pull. However, imagine in this whole time, in this, how old is this pack? 17 years old or 18 years old. Imagine at the end of this, there could be an EX card that's been sitting there. There's a Drowsy and a Zubat. The artwork in this this uh, this whole set is beautiful. You get such different styles of illustrations, which really make it such a fun set to open. Magikarp looking at the moon, Ponyta in Snow White's forest, Claymation Slowpoke, and soon enough we will be coming to the reverse, which is a uncommon Bill's maintenance. Is this a celebrations card? No, I don't think it's a celebration. I'm, I'm looking on my master set over there that I have on the wall. Uh, this is still beautiful though, because it has the uh, logos of some of the energies. Like there's a fighting energy right there. So that thing is pretty cool. And the rare. It's a Blastoise, what? We just pulled the second best card in the set. My gosh, this was sitting in there this whole time. Number nine, a Neo Destiny first edition pack. Yes, we are going shiny Pokemon hunting for the rest of this video. Hey, my friends, I believe the card trick is three. Do I even, should I even try it? I probably, I mean, Okay, fine. I won't. Actually, I will, because I'm, I'm pretty sure for first edition of Destiny it's three. But you can yell at me if I get it wrong, guys. But this is the final pack, one thousand dollar pack. Please don't be a trainer. But there it is, first edition symbol on this Neo Destiny pack. Starting off with Energy Amplifier, Houndor. Lots of shinings to pull, including a shining Charizard too be happy with a Mewtwo as well, or basically a hollow or above, I will take. This pack was unweighed, by the way. Dark Falafi, Cyndaquil, Mail from Bill, AOL style. Then we have a Growlithe, which evolves into a Light Arcanine. But until then, which is a beautiful holographic, uh, Mantine, so far, so good. Unknown L. That's me for Leonhardt. If you do get a Shining, it probably be, would be uh, before the rare spot. Because we have pulled one before. Unknown T. Are we here? We are here. It's a Light Arcanine! We pulled it! It is Encounters by Call, but we pulled it! The Light Arcanine First Edition Hollow has been pulled. My goodness! Oh my gosh! I can't even I can't even find it. From the Growlithe to the Light Arcanine. Number eight. Today we are opening up three First Edition Heavy Base Set packs. We're gonna pull. I'm I'll so go, nervous. I'll go I'm so nervous. By, oh, by the way, it. By the way, it. Sh there's now there should be a holographic on the inside. More likely than not. But just so people out there know, there could be a chance where there may may not be one. So, hopefully, they're real cards. They look real so far. <laughs> I imagine. 
Three, three cards. Three. Oh, look at the centering on that right now. That looks beautiful. So, oh God, sleeves just in case. All right. Porygon, I'm, I can't stop shaking. <laughs> Porygon. Very nice, Charmeleon Air, I'll put that right there. Maintenance. Nidoran. Diglett. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a gray stamp one, I think. Yeah, when the, the yeah. ink is not pressed down as much. So it's actually a bit more of a luxury. Yeah, that's a more of a gray stamp one. Too. Wow. Energy. 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 Not it yet. Stormy. Yeah, but right there, that's a gray stamp. That's awesome. Oh, oh, I think there's I think there's gonna be another energy energy, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it, I think hopefully it's a holographic, but we'll see. Gyarados! I'll take it, I'll take it. So a very, very nice Gyarados holographic. There's something there. This is it. Okay, here we go. Got a Kakuna. No pressure, man. Yeah. Magma. Pokemon Center. It's my first, first edition back then. Really? This is your yeah. first one? Yeah. Oh, man. Bulbic. Oh, energy. Fire. Energy. Fire. Fire energy. It's a sign. It's a sign. Voltorb. Trauma Chub. Is it after and this? She, I don't know. No. Holy oh. leg. Is it the next one? It could be. <laughs> oh. The eater ran. Oh. It's gonna be the next one. The oh. fairy! Yes. I'll take it. I'll take it, man. All right. No Charizard. But, sir, that was a lot of fun. Number seven. Final legendary collection pack. Let's see if we can get, well, frankly, continue the great pulls. Here we go. All right, starting off with some normal types, a Dratini, Magnemite, Boss's Way. Very cool to see that card in this set. Voltorb. Another Pikachu, that has been three Pikachus, I believe. Tauros, that's another Tauros. But this is the final legendary collection pack of the opening to celebrate my new studio. It's not completely done. The fourth Pikachu, my goodness. How many has that been? That's been a lot, but I, I, I won't get them all right now. That's crazy. Well, we have more parts of the studio to reveal in the coming weeks, I guess. Cedra. An Articuno holographic card. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the reverse is a Mewtwo reverse. Oh my gosh. What a pack. What a pack. We'll get to the Mewtwo, my friends. We'll get to the Mewtwo, but look at that. Beautiful Articuno holographic card. And then one of the absolute biggest pulls that you can get in the set, a Mewtwo reverse holographic rare. That is incredible. Number six. This is just the first box. Uh, so those full art trainers as, whoa. We pulled the God Pack, I think we pulled it. I think we pulled it! We have pulled the God Pack! Oh! Oh no! I don't even know, okay. I'm calling it a God Pack, but I try to stay as not too familiar with the sets uh, going in. So if it's not officially called a God Pack, I'm sorry, but wait for the Pikachu flying in. And then you get a random Regigigas V-Star. Now these, as the picture, I'll just show it on screen again all form the illustration. My goodness, we have pulled. Number five. My goodness. 
Look at this from one video. Charizard was pulled earlier. Now, my friends, I bid you adieu. Just kidding. I have one more pack that I'm going to open up. Bye, guys. Thumbs up, guys, please. And be sure to subscribe as well. All right, let's get to 10,000. Let's get to 10,000, please. This one's weird. All right. Shall we place your calls, ladies and gentlemen? I, ah, very, very nice hunter, I see. Wait, so if that was just, how many packs will this have been? 10 packs, around $600 each. We pulled a Charizard today. I'll be happy. All right, Haunter, can we get, what? Whoa, what is going on? Hold on. There's like glue. No, I mean, at least this is, oh my gosh, what? <gasps> ah! <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Hold on, we can save him. Wow. Well, that is very, very unfortunate. I mean, they're real cards and everything. And obviously, you've seen the other ones, they're real. My gosh. I'm sorry about that, Dugong. You got the Aurora Borealis going through ya. All right, we gotta be careful because there should be a hollow at the end of this. I hope that's the end of those, the glue problem of 2022. Onyx, Ghastly, at least it wasn't on the hollow, right? I hope. Abra. Drowsy, Squirt, did I do the guess? Psychic and Lightning. Energy, energy again with a guess the energy patch on back. Here we go. And it's another Charizard in the final pack. Oh my goodness. Charizard has been pulled twice in the same video oh my gosh please be okay oh it is thankfully okay a charizard has been pulled twice in the same video number four as of the ever-changing ways that it lets y'all know in it by youtube lets y'all know whenever a creator posts a video so i really do appreciate it guys uh, there will be more fun vintage pack opening, new pack openings to go on this channel, modern openings, uh, Desert Shaman. Okay, that doesn't, this more looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh card, but that's what you gotta love. You just never know what you're gonna get. Friend Ball, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon, search your deck for a baby Pokemon. It's a baby. It's a baby. Look at that Meowth. There's a little uh, town in the background in the middle of the desert. I really do like this artwork a lot. That's Fuk Fukuyama. Kaiko Fukuma. And then we have the Snorlax. Also love this artwork as well. <gasps> then we, everybody welcome the South Park Kadabra. Eh, guys. I don't, it just reminds me of the South Park. Don't laugh at me. I laugh at you. Uh, but this is a beautiful card, especially because Kadabra should be coming back to the Pokemon TCG after long legal battles that have gone on. So I'm really happy about that one. A Fortress. I think there's a holographic one, which I would not want to get. There's a Cleffa. Again, we got Stonehenge in the background. Uh, and that's just this really interesting card. But we have the, uh, what was the card that we had that can bring the Friend Ball? to get Cleffa. And we have... We just pulled a crystal Pokemon, my goodness! A reverse crystal golem! No way we have done it! A crystal Pokemon has been pulled. And we have one more, a non-holographic rare Beedrill. My goodness. We we can't get so lucky with that one. I Number three. But maybe it can happen with an evolution pull in this final pack. I believe that is every item. That was a lot. 
But that was a lot of fun. Psychic Energy did fairly well with the Guess the Energy, but we did open up a lot of packs today. Petalil, Bergmite, Drowsy, and... In the final pack, we have done it! The Umbreon is real! The Umbreon is real! The Umbreon has been pulled! In the very, very last pack, it is a real card. The Umbreon VMAX has been finally pulled in the very, very last pack. My goodness, we have done it, not just pulling the Umbreon, we have beaten the odds on the bottom, all of this. <laughs> this one card just put us above every single item. Number two. Literally, a golden expedition base set pack with some incredible cards in this set. Of course, we got some Charizards, but we also have a Mew and Mewtwo holographic and reverse holographic that are in this set. Of course, this was the first set in the E-Series sets, which started coming out in 2002, and then we had Aquapolis, and then of course, which we're opening up today, a Sky Ridge pack, but that's later. For now, we have a very valuable pack. Like I said before, usually, none of the packs were sold ahead of time. These are just for my personal collection. So this did, this really does get high up in value. And I know I'm likely not gonna make the money back, but what I do know is lots of y'all in the world are entertained by these videos. And I'm just grateful for be opening up these beautiful sets with beautiful artwork and lots of history to them. So here we go. Should be two cards, as there's only nine additional cards. I know. What were they thinking? No, it was because of licensing issues. Pupitar. Multi-technical machine 01. Wow. I can say I do not pull this Tauros card often, but a lot of the cards in this set from Yuichi have this type of uh, exotic or psychedelic artwork to it. Moo Moo Milk, it's back. They've reprinted this card several times. Golding, interesting. Full Heal Alchemist. And... We pulled Charizard! We just pulled the best card from the Set. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! We just pulled the best card from a pack. By the way, none of these packs are weighed. In fact, all of these are randomly chosen from just my booster box supply of packs that I have. And my gosh! Number one. Wizards of the Coast's final set, might I add. Crystal Charizard. Reverse Crystal Charizard. Or basically any type of crystal or holographic card. There's so many incredible cards in Sky Ridge. I am hoping we can pull something good today. My friends, like I said before, if you enjoy this type of video, please consider subscribing and of course, leave a like. Let's get to 10,000 likes. This is my favorite set of all time, not because of the Charizard, because of the artwork. Please, sit back, relax, because it's a beautiful set. I gotta be very, whoa. See, you get to see cards that I just haven't seen before. Two balls for the price of one. Bounce, energy, very cool looking card. I told you the artwork is cool. Miracle Sphere. That's a novel. It's like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Voltorb is pissed. How about that? Next up. Toys R Us Giraffe. Mind you, look at the little icon of the Sky Ridge thing. It's so beautiful. This goes by too fast, though. Delibird Express. Ratatat. Just 
taking a dump, it looks like. Woo! And a chance at pulling We have done it! We have pulled a crystal Jarenzard! Oh my gosh! I have dreamed of this moment! Oh my god! We have pulled! A crystal Charizard! This was the final Charizard I've been wanting to pull! Oh my gosh, please be good. Oh my goodness! There's... there's nothing on this card. I'll have to check the holographic to see if there's any. Oh my gosh! <laughs>